Hello my YouTube gang, so welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Cyprian Msangi and this is BGDB with Laravel YouTube series for beginners. This is the fourth video in the series and today we shall be installing a new Laravel project and we shall be connecting it to PostgreSDB that we installed and configured in the last video. Continue sharing and subscribing as we break this thing down and let's... <laughs> We are going to go straight towards creating a new Laravel project and as you all know we use uh, our CMD and so I'm going to go straight to CMD so cd zamp slash ht docs enter so that this is the folder where we're going to create our project and so this is where I'll paste the command for creating a new project composer create project then you prefer the distribution which it, which will give you the latest distribution of laravel then of course the name of the project which is the blog you can give it any name that you may wish so enter so this uh, process is going to take some uh, few minutes or seconds so i'm going to pause the video and uh, wait until it is done one thing that i want you to know is if you have not installed composer you should go to their website and leave a link down there so that you go and install composer before thinking of installing laravel after laravel is done installing you should navigate to that folder which uh, according to mine will be blog then type composer require laravel forward slash ui press enter and wait then the next thing that we are supposed to do is uh, generate a ui scaffolding so it's php artisan ui bootstrap minus minus that is hyphen hyphen then out so while laravel is through with the installation process the next thing that you're supposed to do is open visual studio code i use visual studio code so i'm going to type code then space then dot then press enter it's going to open visual studio for me and to this folder that i've installed my laravel my laravel so first things first i'm going to go straight to the env file and here i'm going to configure the database connection so the first thing that i'm going to do is uh change my sql to pg sql so the port number is supposed to be 5432 the database let me just call it blog as the name of the application is the username by default is postgres and then the password you will use the password that you used during the installation of postgres so i'll put mine that was my password so what you're supposed to do now is head to your zamp and open to start the apache and start the mysql before we run the migration the first thing that you're supposed to do is open our pg sql database so php pg my admin so here first login and our our database name is supposed to be blog or you can call it whatever you, you need to call it but make sure it is the same with the one that you have you have done here in the in the env file so the next thing is to run the migration to create the tables that is so i'm going to use uh, vs code for doing this so here i'm going to type uh, php artisan migrate hit enter so the migrations have been created successfully and uh, now the next thing is you can go back to your to your cmd now and type php php artisan serve hit enter this one is going to start our server and now we can browse our application in the browser so in the browser just you can copy this 
this uh, this line of code here, this HTTP, this is the URL. So paste it in your browser and hit enter. And there we go. We have our application up and running and we have these scaffoldings here. So we have successfully managed to... Okay, before that, let me try to register so that I can see if you have managed to connect to our PGSQLDB. So name, let me use Cyprian, my name. Email address, msangi, cyprian, gmail.com. Password, register. So as you can see, I am already registered and I am already logged in as Cyprian. So Laravel has done all this for, for us and I can now log out and log in again. And there we go. I am already logged in again as Cyprian. So that is how you connect to your application with PGSQL. And I can show you under PGSQL, under the blog DB, under public, under users. You can see here, I uh, have already one user registered, and that is Cyprian Msangi under PGSQL. So that's how we connect our Laravel application with our PG, and we can continue using that um, as our database. And uh, in case of any questions, you can continue asking me, and I'm going to answer. Before I finish, there, there's one more problem that I think you may you might encounter and I think it's good I show you so um, there is this problem of uh, when you try to run the migrations for the first time you find this problem they're saying uh, specified key was too long this error the specified key was too was too long so what you're supposed to do is head over to your editor go to under app then under http under providers that is then under app service provider then down to the boot function what you're supposed to do is add schema then to semicolon then write default string length then put brackets, then inside here you write 191, then a semicolon of course. Then after that, we're supposed to import that that uh, class here. So here you're supposed to have facades. So, sorry. It's eliminate support facade schema. Then down here, default string length 191, then you save it. And now you can exit. So in case you will encounter such a problem during migrating, you can put that line of those lines of code there, and that problem will have sorted. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, continue sharing this video if it was useful. Share to your friends. Let me know in the comment section the problems that you're going through, so that I may be able to assist. So see you next time.